The much-talked-about El Nino is here, and the storm gateway is open, but that doesn't mean it'll rain every week. When it rains, we all know by now to turn our irrigation systems off. But when do we water our landscaping again after a storm? The answer depends. The factors are the amount of rain and your soil type. Using the trusted methods of experienced gardeners will help. First, observe. Uh, watch your plants. Your plants will literally talk to you. That's first and foremost. Your plants will speak through their leaves or blooms. When they show signs of stress, water again. If you and your landscaping have communication issues, try getting your hands a bit dirty. Get a garden trowel or a shovel and just dig down into the dirt and stick your finger in the dirt, poke around, and if the soil is wet, at the very top, all the way down, don't water. You can also use a soil probe. Say, for example, your topsoil is six inches deep. If you sample the soil after a good rain, you'll see how the soil has reached capacity, meaning it's soaked up all the water it can. Don't water again until the top three or four inches are dry, or 50% of capacity. In simple terms, think of the story of Goldilocks and the three sponges. One is too dry, one is too wet, but this one is just right. That is how your soil should look closer to their roots. Water again before it gets too dry. With the 2016 El Nino, there is a possibility outside irrigation could be unnecessary. If we get good rains periodically, uh, three weeks apart, you won't have to water all winter. Or at least irrigate much less. One other thing, you can take all the mystery out of the when to water question by using a smart controller. Modern systems do all of the figuring for you. Rebates may be available. Learn more at otiwater.gov. For the Otai Water District, I'm Leonard Vireo.